Um, when you guys are doing distributed property or whenever you guys see a, a multiplication pro or parentheses and you see a number outside that parentheses, the important thing that I want you to understand, Taylor, is that number is being multiplied times both of these terms. All right? This is very different than if I wrote the problem 7 times x times negative 3. This is the product of all three numbers, which you just multiply straight across. However, when you have your two terms inside of the parentheses that are separated by addition or subtraction, then what you need to do is multiply the 7 times the x and the 7 times the negative 3. So it looks something like this, 7 times x um, plus 7 times negative 3. That's a positive 7. That's why I wrote plus. That's a positive 7. That's why I wrote plus. 7 times x. Now, now we're getting into multiplication of unlike terms, right? 7 and x do not, are not like terms. Fortunately for us guys, when we're multiplying, we do not have to have like terms. Just kind of like multiplying and dividing fractions, right? We didn't have to have like de common denominators. So when you have non-like terms, you can just multiply. 7 times x is going to equal just 7x. And then 7 times negative 3 is a negative 21. All right. Um, I don't want to confuse you too much on 